Hey, Sean Jans here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Thursday, February 4th. And I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the Small Cap 2000. And I want to start here on Slash ES and the S&P, and I want to start here on the, uh, the four-hour chart. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what's happening, what's going on, so we can kind of set up tomorrow's day. So here we were uh, Monday. Um, you should have caught this four-hour sell trigger. I mean, this was just juicy, juicy. And uh, I know a lot of people made a lot of money on that four-hour sell trigger uh, right there. It's just, I mean, four-hour sell triggers, in my opinion, will, will make you a lot of money, more money than any other pattern that you learn. And just in my opinion, if you got something better, I'd love to see it. I haven't seen anything better than the four-hour sell trigger, though. And then, of course, we make our way all the way down into support, and we catch another four-hour higher low buy trigger uh, today. So today, we actually caught the uh, four-hour buy trigger today. So we had our yearly low, goes up, comes back down, there's your higher low, goes back up, comes back down, another higher low, and we're off back up to the races. Now, here's the crappy thing, in my opinion is we are just absolutely just stuck right here in the middle. We're not assist, we're not necessarily overbought and we're not necessarily oversold either. And when you're in this kind of you know, when you're in when you're in this kind of uh, sorry, I have a, just a little bit of a a head cold going on. So I'm just trying to tr struggle through but when you're in this kind of uh, situation here where you're not necessarily overbought and you're not necessarily oversold it does make it a little bit tougher to trade. You're not exactly sure what you're going to get tomorrow. In my opinion, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get. But I do know we're either going to make a run or we're going to make a run. I mean, that's that's what I do know. I mean, I know you're thinking that's so obvious, but I mean, that's just those are to the types of days. So we need to write uh, we need to write down on the upside the 1926 to 1929. That's our resistance Keltner to the upside. Middle blue Keltner 1907 to 1905, and then support Keltner 1884 to 1882. So let's write all those numbers down, and let's see how well those add up and uh, to our plot chart, so that we can gain more edges in the markets. Right. So here we are. We have our five-day low at 1864 and a half. We have our five-day high at 1940, and of course these bears took this exactly to that five-day low. I mean, exactly, exactly, exactly. And I actually told you they were going to do that too. Go back and watch. I told you this is what they were going to do and then look for buy triggers, and I did. Right here was my trade that I got in. I grabbed the 1866 daily, 180 bucks, easiest $180 I think I've ever made. Awesome, right? 1866. I got it at 55. I didn't even have to think about this. 1866 is like right there. I knew exactly where they were going to take it. I have that for you too. I told you they're going to take this down to the minus one uh, trade plan. See, I weave it in the trade plan. I told you where they're going to take it right around that minute 450 to minute 530. I told you this is where they're going to go. So awesome stuff. You should have made a lot of money on that buy trigger. You should have made also a lot of money on the sell trigger because I grabbed that. I told them for you as well. So now, here we are. And Asian session, we're already getting some bully bulls stepping into this chart. They're already running into my resistance zones. So here are my resistance zones. Plus 0.5 in Tuesday's POC, which is already running in there. I'm not selling right now. I, I don't like I don't like trading the Asian session, really. And so um, but here's that's my first line in the sand. Plus 0.5 and Tuesday's POC. And especially when you move over to the left, you can actually see there's several stuff going on at that level. Let's leave the circle there, right? Uh, resistance, resistance, support, 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 support. There's a lot of stuff going on at 1920 just from the past few days. This is a very, very nice level to be trading as far as for a resistance trigger. So here's the here's the deal. Here if we go. In my opinion, I would need this to come back down and try one more time, and I can try and sell this again uh, during the U.S. session or early, early U.S. session. Right. So that's my line in the sand to the upside. I want to be looking for this as a sell trigger. I'm probably thinking London will will likely take this back down to VA high. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to find out. If you want to wake up early and try trading this, you absolutely can.
Okay, but uh, I would need this to try one more time, and then I can sell Tuesday's P Tuesday's POC in the plus 0.5. Now, here's the issue that if we break above Tuesday's POC in plus 0.5, it gets a little trickier. I'm going to leave question marks here because it's going to get a little trickier if we break up above that level. Here's some options. Obviously, if it holds pullbacks and holds pullbacks, we're likely to go ahead and make a run into that 19, uh, into that plus one. Now, here in my opinion, though, this is what I would think. I'm, and I'll be in the chat room, and I'll let you know if I do this. If we do end up going higher. I'm going to look at these weekly strikes up here. I think there's a 51 and a 63 weekly strike for a sell. So if we do end up going higher, I am thinking about potentially selling this chart for Friday and adding in and, and selling those weeklies. And I'll let you know in the chat room if I do. So if we go higher, I definitely want to be a seller, but I want to get as far away from price as I possibly can up in this region here. So I'll let you know if I do that. It's got to look perfect, so I'll let you know if I do that. Okay. Now, if we go lower, the first thing if we go lower that we need to watch for is potential uh, buy value area high trade right there. So that's the first thing we need to watch for, that that can potentially hold as support because you got several things there. It's not just value area high. The, the, it, it goes from here all the way to settlement to Monday's POC because check, check this out. You had resistance, resistance, resistance. You had three of them. And then all of a sudden price breaks out, it could absolutely come back, and then that resistance can now hold as support. Okay? So that's the first thing to the downside. Now, we bust through minus 0.5. We just did some analysis here. We just did some analysis. And uh, the middle blue Keltner actually was 1907 to 1905, which puts us exactly, guys, right there. So there's another thing of why that could be a decent buy trigger because that's also the middle blue Keltner. Okay, now we bust through this. We're likely looking for lower high triggers, and this is a, this is potential for spread trades on your one minute charts. And take this sucker all the way down to the minus 0.5, and then take your profits right there. So if we bust through, I'm going to be looking for minus. I'm going to be looking for one minute sell triggers to take it to the minus 0.5 on a spread. Okay, Now, if we get through minus 0.5, look at what's waiting for us down there at value area low. It's the minus 1 deviation, it's value area low, and it's also the red support Keltner. Notice how there's a lot of stuff going on. And let's circle this area on the chart. Let's circle it. <coughs> And then let's go over to the left and look at how much stuff is, is, is on that area of the chart. So look at all that right there. So there's one, two, I'd say one and a half. Let's keep it there. There's, look, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's roughly eight ranges, eight, eight bush, bushels of volume right on that minus one. So. If price breaks through minus 0.5 with some vengeance, you can then look to try and spread this sucker for an 80% roll to the downside. See how that works? Price comes outside of value, and if it gets back inside, 80% chance we're going to go down to value area low. And when you can combine a lot of analysis, I see no reason why we can't do that tomorrow. But we need to get, but I'm telling you right now, don't be greedy. Take profits here and then wait. Wait and see if we're going to break through to continue and enter again to continue your move down. Okay, I'm going to quickly, quickly talk about the TF. And the only reason I'm going to quickly do it is because it's the exact same plan. I mean, literally the exact same. Just pick your favorite chart. So plus 0.5 is going to be the sell trigger, obviously. That's going to be the first sell trigger. Obviously, you know, look at that. Look how great it held right there. So the plus 0.5 is going to be first sell trigger. The only difference here is that you got support all the way from here to here. See, two POCs, settlement, value very high, January 8th POC. So from here to here is support, 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 support. Now, you bust through that, lower high, lower high, you're likely going to make a run to the minus 0.5, and you're now a seller. Take that sucker to the minus 0.5.
Okay? So comment if you have any questions, and I'll be in the room all morning if you need help. And please make sure you're recording yourself trading and, uh, and, and send it to me. And also take pictures of all of your trades so that I can help you uh, get better.